Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back. It's your buddy Techno Boy, and uh, what you're seeing now it's a digital thermometer. And um, this is not actually a thermometer that you can use to check your body temperature. Well, you can use this one too, but this is mainly used for the other purpose the room temperature and the refrigerator temperature, uh, something like that. So, this is the machine. This is not a big one it's close to the camera this is a very tiny one as you can see it right here so this is the packing and it's Arctic digital thermometer RT116 so let's uh, open this that's the meter itself and that's the wear and this is the sensor and uh, the two batteries are there these are called the button batteries and yeah the paper here I like that so let's check the features here I'll see the display insert design simple appearance two button batteries for a longer use time specially applied in refrigerator chiller defreeze etc technical parameter temperature minus 50 degree to plus 110 degree centigrade using environment temperature minus 5 to plus 50 and humidity 5 percent to 80 percent i don't know why it is given because this meter just show the temperature not the humidity so anyway maybe because if the humidity is lower than five percent or more than eighty percent the accuracy the temperature accuracy would be different i guess whatever so here you can see accuracy plus minus one degree and that's the two power button battery you can see that's the lr44 battery so if you want to buy uh, extra batteries so just uh, search with the uh, LR44 batteries on Amazon or Flickr, wherever uh, you'll get that. If you want to buy these batteries from local store, you just uh, ask them the, for the button batteries LR44. You can get the batteries from the local electronic parts stores or even from the uh, watch stores. And that's it. And here you can see LCD display h when the temperature is higher than 110 degrees centigrade and lcd display low l when the temperature is higher than minus 50 degrees centigrade means lower than minus 50 degree of course so anyway that's it it's so just the paperwork says but you're gonna check this so as far as i can push it uh, so first of all let's uh, remove this piece of wire here all right now uh, this is the battery compartment just uh, push to that side and then open like this so that's the one battery you need to insert the battery just like this the full metal side would be at the top and this separated metal part you can see at the middle that will go to the bottom like this and same here and close the door like this and then throw and then slide to this side that's it it's closed now so now you can see the temperature here that's the room temperature here right now it's 24.9 and 25 degree it is like that because though it's winter but still the doors and windows all are closed and inside the room it's uh, not so cold like uh, outside so 
that's 24.9 so that's the temperature here so what I'm gonna do now right so all right so now I can see that's the temperature 24.1 and uh, that's the chilled water so let's put the sensor in the chilled water and let's see see 13 degree 12.2 10.9 that's nice yeah. okay All right. nice let's stop there so that's it that's the temperature of this chilled water it's 9.7 degree centigrade so this way you can check the temperature of anything so now let's put this sensor out of this chilled water and let's see see the temperature is rising again it's going to stop at 24 I think so let's check that so that's it that's a 24.2 centigrade and uh, 24.1 it's around 24 like that so it stopped there that's the room temperature right now all right so now i'm going to blow some hot air right uh, on the sensor and I'm going to see uh, the temperature of it so let's do that all right so it's a hair dryer and uh, it blows hot air until i press this button so let's uh, check that Alright, so 81.9 degree centigrade and the, I cannot hold it uh, much longer. It's too hot now. So that's it. It uh, works very fine. But for the low temperature, we just uh, reached only 9.9 .9 degree centigrade, like that. But uh, now I'm gonna put the sensor inside my deep freezer and I'm gonna check the temperature. Uh, there, but before that, let it go back to the room temperature right now. So that's it. You have seen the uh, high temperature that went to 82 degree centigrade. It can go more, but I couldn't hold that hair dryer for 
longer time because of the hot air and uh, that's why so it went to 82 degrees centigrade that's uh, very good and you've seen that when I put the sensor in the diff freezer then this thing went uh, to minus 4 degree it was going more maybe 2 3 degree more it's gonna go but that's the good thing that it can sense the minus temperature so that's a nice thing now it's getting back to the room temperature right now well the one thing is that it's a bit of slow in the numbering slowly increase and slowly decrease so that's the negative point but you can use this thing as a room temperature meter or you can use this in the fish tank and also you can use this thing uh, in your PC if you use your PC for longer time you, you should use a uh, temperature sensor just like this to be sure that you have a tolerable temperature inside your PC well, well in my PC the my cabinet that has a already digital display at the front and that has a temperature sensor also so I can see that this thing has a multi-purpose usage you can use it for many things and this thing cost me around 200 on Amazon I'll put the link in the description below so that's it guys that's all for today see you in the next video thanks for watching bye